Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to do a tutorial on how to contour and highlight your face for beginners. And I'm going to be using powder products today. This is not going to be a cream contour, it's just powder contour and highlight. I just want to do this video because over the last year I've learned a lot on how to highlight and contour and I've gotten better at it. I'm not saying that I'm perfect at it. I'm not a professional makeup artist or anything like that. I've just learned what works for me and my own face shape and my own skin tone. I found products that work for me and everything I've learned is from other YouTubers. So I just wanted to share my own experience and my own tips and tricks in case you are new to contouring and highlighting or maybe you're just new to makeup in general and you want some tips or maybe you already know how to contour and highlight but you haven't found products that work quite right for you. These are just the products that I've found that work for me that aren't too pigmented, that aren't patchy, that aren't too powdery, that blend really nicely. So if you would like to see how I contour and highlight my face, then please keep watching. So I'm going to use the Anastasia Contour Kit, and I have the light to medium one, and it just looks like this. Obviously, you can see that this is the color I use the most often because it looks kind of messy, where I don't even touch these other two shades because they're too dark for me, and they're a little bit too warm toned for me. So I just stick with this one for contouring. For the top three shades, I could use all three of them, but I mostly use the two matte shades. One of them is kind of like a banana shade and one of them has a more cool tone, like a little bit has a little bit more pink to it. And then this one is a shimmering shade. So that would just be like a shimmer highlight that you would want to hit the tops of your cheeks with and everything like that. So when I contour, I contour my cheeks, my nose, my forehead, and then a little bit on my jawline, not too much. So first off for contouring around your cheeks and everything, you're going to want a contouring brush, of course. And a brush that I've really been liking to use is the Sigma Large Angled Contour Brush. This is the F40 brush. And as you can see, it's an angled brush and it just has like the perfect little shape to get into your cheekbones, like to get into the hollows of your cheeks. One good thing about this palette in particular is that it isn't super pigmented, so you can definitely build it up. So it's not like it's gonna be too much product on your face at one time. So it makes it really easy just to blend things out because you could definitely build it up to get more product on your face and get more pigmentation, but it's not like it's too pigmented where it's gonna just stick to your face and you can't blend it out. I basically start like where my sideburns are, like right here between like my ear, the top of my ear and my sideburn. I'm gonna go right here. And if you go like this, you can kind of see the line where it would be. You could kind of feel where the hollows of your cheekbones are. So that's kind of how you could tell where to apply the contour. I just start applying it like this and I want to focus the product the most up here and then just have it fade because I don't want to have like a really harsh line starting right here because then it's gonna look funny but when it starts from your like kind of like your hairline or your sideburn area it just looks better and it looks more natural and you don't have to make that face while you're doing it but if it makes it easier for you to find the hollow of your cheek then you can go ahead and do that. Okay, and then that just kind of creates more of a defined cheekbone. So it looks like my cheeks are carved in a little bit. So again, I'm just starting closer to my ear and my sideburn area and then pulling down the product so that it kind of fades a little bit. And I'm using really light pressure because I don't want to disrupt the foundation that's already on my face. And then I go ahead and dip the brush in just a little bit more of the powder. And then I just go like this. And as you can see, I have the brush kind of like not sideways anymore. It's like vertical. And then I just start doing buffing motions just to help blend out the contour. Don't want to add too much more product because I already have the basic shape of the contour that I want. This is just to blend it out so it doesn't look too harsh. And then for my jawline, it's really easy. You just get a little bit of product on the brush and then I kind of just like look up. I start out with my chin and kind of just go back and forth like this. And then just go like this and this will just kind of sharpen your jawline a little bit. Just create a little bit of a shadow. I don't do that much with this. I don't even always do this. It depends on if I'm feeling like it, but this is something that you can do if you want to create more of the illusion that you have a sharper jawline. And then for my forehead, just add some more product on the brush again. I move my hair back because my hair's in the way, but I basically just start patting it on the perimeter of my forehead. And this will kind of help create a shadow 
on my forehead near my hairline and it makes your forehead look a little bit smaller which is good because i have a large forehead and then i bring it all the way down on my temples about like along the hairline so that it meets the contour on my cheeks so you want everything to look nice and blended and you don't want it to look like there's harsh lines or anything do the same thing on this side and i'm just doing patty motions because I don't want to disrupt the foundation underneath and I'm going to blend it later with another brush anyway. So now just to finish up the contour I'm going to do my nose. So I've like struggled with my nose contour for a long time and I finally feel like I do kind of like a good job with it. I don't know. I feel like the only way I could do a good contour on my nose is if I use this specific palette because other products that I've used they make my nose contour look way too heavy and it'll look like I just have lines on my face or on my nose which doesn't look good. So I like to use a fluffy blending brush. This is like a fluffy eyeshadow brush. So this one specifically is an Anastasia blending brush. It was just in my Modern Renaissance palette. You can use any eyeshadow blending brush you have that's fluffy. I just like this one. It works really well for me. The brush tip isn't that long, but it's nice and fluffy. I just dip it into the powder, the same contour shade. You could see where there's already shadows on my nose, just the natural shadows on my face along here and here. But I want to kind of intensify those shadows so that it makes the illusion that my nose is more narrow. And I do a really light hand because my nose is the oiliest part of my face and it also has large pores. So if I don't do a really light hand and do really light pressure, it'll definitely disrupt the foundation that's already on my nose. So I just lightly apply this contour shade on the side of my nose basically where that shadow would already be but it's kind of just intensifying it and then same thing on this side just very lightly and that's why I like this powder from Anastasia because it's really blendable and it's buildable so you won't apply too much at a time and then it's going to be too difficult to blend out and then for the tip of my nose I just go like this brush across and that kind of creates the illusion that my nose doesn't like dip down or that it ends sooner than it does so it doesn't look as long. And all I'm doing with my nose contour, it all depends on your own face shape. So you just have to experiment with your own nose and see how you like doing it. It's taken me a long time to figure out like a way that I actually like it. But I just want to show you how I do it because it might be helpful. And then whatever is left over on the brush, I just bring it up to my brows on the sides just to blend it so it's not like there's a harsh line so it kind of blends into my brows it makes it look more natural now to finish up the nose because that's not it I go into the palette and I use the two highlighting shades they're both the matte highlighting shades I just like to mix them it makes it better shade for me I don't want it to look too yellow or too pink so I mix them and then I just apply it to the bridge of my nose where I didn't apply the contour and then I also use those two matte highlighting shades on the sides of my nose to blend out the contour. So I just apply some to the brush and then start doing circular motions to blend it out. And I go right on top of the contour shade and then just start blending. And this helps to just make it look more like a natural shadow on your face rather than a line. And then just keep blending until you like how it looks, basically. You could always add more contour. Just depends on your preference. Okay, so that is how I do my contour on my nose. And it doesn't look too heavy or anything, in my opinion. It just makes my nose look a little bit more narrow. And then to highlight the rest of my face, I go back into the two highlight shades, the matte ones. And I'm using this fluffy brush from Luxie. It's a 660 Precision Foundation brush, but I like using this for like precise areas under my eyes. So I mix it with these two shades again. And then you just kind of apply some underneath your eyes just to brighten up the under eye area. And then bring it along your nose as well. And that will help to also create the illusion of a thinner nose, only on the sides of your nose. And then you can do the same thing on your 
forehead like between your brows just bring a little bit of that matte highlight there and then focus it on the lower portion of your forehead and this just brightens up these areas of your face and then you could apply some to your chin as well and then you can go like this so you, we did the contour right here it's going above it right here on each side now we'll just help to kind of intensify the contour because you're gonna to wanna to brighten up this part of your face anyway. And then if your forehead or any areas look a little bit like muddy or they don't look blended out enough, you can always use these matte highlight shades and then just kind of use them to blend out anywhere where it looks like it's not blended enough and you need to kind of bring a little bit more highlight or lightness to your skin because maybe you apply too much of the contour powder. So that's it for that palette, but then I still like to bronze up my face because I don't like the look of just a contour. I think it looks too, Heavy. I don't know, I think it looks more like put together when I bronze and contour. It's totally up to you though. But one of my favorite bronzing powders is the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. And I use the crown brush. This is the Jumbo Kabuki Fan Brush SS023. SS just a fat fan brush. And then I just do sticker motions and kind of like back and forth motions on my cheeks just to warm up my cheeks and kind of like blend out the contour so it looks more like I have a just bronzed up sun-kissed face rather than just a contour if that makes sense and then this bronzer powder really helps for my forehead so I just especially with this brush I just make kind of like light circular motions on the perimeter of my forehead by my hairline and this just really helps to blend it out, warms up my face, and blends out the contour. One of my favorite blushes that I like always reach for is the Physicians Formula Butter Blush in the shade Plum Rose. I like this blush because it's not really harsh. It's a really easy to wear, kind of like natural nude shade. I don't like really pigmented blushes, and this is a really nice buildable formula, so it's not going to apply too much. And it blends out really nicely. This is a Bare Minerals Feather Light Brush. I just dip it into the blush. I focus on kind of like the outside of my cheeks. So if I'm looking straight on, it's going to be like focusing here. But I blend it into the contour. So I just go like this. I'm going to add a little bit more because this is a really nice blendable formula. So it's not going to look too heavy. And I really like using a brush like this, one of the duo fiber brushes, because it's so light and fluffy. It makes it so easy to blend out blush. I basically never use blush brushes for my blush because it applies too much product for me. I like using brushes like this that are more fat and like the duo fiber because they apply product really lightly and it doesn't concentrate the product too much. It just makes it really easy to blend out for me. And since I like a really light blush, this is what works for me. My favorite highlights are in this palette. It's the Anastasia Beverly Hills Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit. And I don't know if this is still available. It might not be available anymore. I'm not sure because this is a limited edition since it's a collab with Nicole Guerrero. But I know Anastasia has a bunch of other highlight palettes. And most of them have pretty good reviews. So I'm assuming they probably work about the same. I personally haven't tried any other highlights from them except for the ones in this palette. If you can still get your hands on this palette, it's really good but you know you can use any highlights you have I just really like these so I use the middle two shades forever young and glow getter and then I also use forever lit I like using a thin fan brush this is from the brand crown brush It's their deluxe highlight fan brush SS017 it's just a regular fan brush and it's really nice and soft so that you could apply it right here so I just dip it into the two middle highlight shades Mix them together. I just like this combination, I don't know why. And then I apply it right on the tops of my cheekbones. So if you're looking at my cheek right now, here's where the contour and bronzer was. The blush is kind of over here, and then the highlight is going to go right on the top of my cheekbone right here. Just do back and forth motions just to blend it out, but focus the product right here along the high point of my cheek and then just creates a nice little glow when the light hits it.
And then you can just apply a little bit like right here along the temples just to blend it a little bit. Whatever is left over on the brush. I like to go in the lightest highlight shade, the Forever Lit one right here. And then I apply that right on top. It's basically like as a highlight topper. And it just adds a little bit extra glow since it's lighter. Makes your cheeks look extra glowy. And then whatever is left over on the brush, I like to apply to the sides of my forehead. So like right here and right here. It just adds a little bit of glow so that your forehead doesn't look too pasty or anything. So that when you turn your head and the light hits it, it looks a little bit glowy there. So just I just do like swirling motions right over here and right here. But you don't have to do this. This is all up to your own personal preference. And then I also highlight my nose. I know some people don't like doing this. It just depends on what you like. I like to highlight the bridge of my nose, but totally up to you. So I just go back and forth on the bridge of my nose. I don't really want the product to go anywhere but the bridge of my nose because I don't want to highlight the sides. So I just highlight the bridge like this. Just go back and forth. That's basically all I do for contouring and highlighting my face. And then I really like to basically always set my whole face with a setting spray. Since you're applying so many powders to your face, it can kind of look a little bit powdery and you want all the powders to kind of melt together. Just blend together, all look like they're part of your own skin rather than looking like you have layers and layers of powder on your face. One of my favorite setting sprays is the Urban Decay Chill Makeup Setting Spray. This is their old bottle, but they changed the packaging. This is their cooling and hydrating spray. It is oil-free, paraben-free, and it has temperature control technology. You're supposed to do an X motion like this and then a T motion to get your whole face. Make sure you close your eyes. You don't want to get it in your eyes. And then you just let it dry. It doesn't take very long to dry. It dries pretty quickly. It just helps your makeup to last longer throughout the day. It sets it all down and it also makes everything look blended together. So if your face looks a little bit too powdery, say you apply too much setting powder or anything like that, you can always spray some of that on it and it makes it just look more like your original skin. So that's basically my highlight and contour routine. Again, highlighting and contouring your face, especially contouring, depends on your face shape, your own features, depends on the shape of your nose, if you even want to contour your nose. It all depends on your own preference and then also your face shape what you like so I just wanted to share my experience with these products and how I have learned to contour my face and apply highlight I'm not saying that this is the only way to do it or the correct way to do it you can do your makeup however you like I'm not a professional makeup artist or anything I just wanted to share my own like tips and tricks and experience with using these products because I'm just like a regular person that likes makeup and I basically learned what I know about makeup from YouTube, from other YouTubers. But I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Oops. I just put my hand in the palette. That was a fail. It just helps with... Ugh. I just poke my eye. <laughs>